What's going on, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy, Jake. Finally back after a two, maybe three-week hiatus, man. I apologize for not putting out any content. I've just been so busy and tired. I just didn't have the energy um, to put out any videos. Even, even this one, this shoe came in two days ago, and I still didn't have the juice, you know, to, to, to do this video, man. So it's my apologies, man. I just got to get the energy flowing, man. <laughs> So uh, without further ado, let's go on and get on with this video. It is the Air Jordan 4 Industrial Blue, not Military Blue, Industrial Blue. And I, I bet the third rendition of this shoe will probably be Complex Blue. So I, I see a thing going here. Military Industrial Complex. The Military Industrial Complex. If, if, if anyone hasn't said that, that's what I think it might be. Let's, so let's see if Nike... Um, uh trademarks uh complex blue uh maybe soon <laughs> so uh we will see so let's get on with it i got exclusive access from nike sneakers app so shoes are here let's open these bad boys up you guys know how i do it i right. uh, unbox these things right in front of you so boom Ooh, nice and clean so all right, so that's crazy. So it's not industrial blue. Why did they still call it? It still says military blue here. So if Nike's calling it military blue here, then why not? So I thought it would be a difference that it would say industrial blue here. And, uh, and it would say, you know, military blue here. So, so Nike's not fooling anyone. So... There you go. It's military blue. It's military blue. So when I do this, uh, when I do the uh, the title, it's going to be military blue. So here we go. We're going to check out the boxes. I stand corrected. So this is the latest one I got. This is not from the first video I did uh, of the military blue. So let's see here. Boxes are the same exact size. I showed you guys the label, but there's something different with the labels. The label is bigger on the retail pair, and it has like a matted finish. Well, no, it's not as glossy as that one. It's a little weird. All right, but boxes are the exact same size, man. But you can see the difference with the finish and everything. All right. Uh, and once again on these things it feels like um it has a wax has a wax type finish um on this uh on the fake box it feels weird it feels real real weird on there it's a different feel it's a different feel all right all right let's pull these bad boys out does everybody want to see man i just put three minutes explaining all this but all right. I stand corrected. So why are they calling this thing industrial blue? And on the box, it says military. All right, let's see how close these things are. Let's see, oh, scary. I'm not sure why anyone, you know, would get uh, fakes of these when they, unless you just want to save money because these shoes will be ready, hopefully ready and available from what the rumors are. They're over a million pairs made, well over a million pairs made. So everyone should be able to get a pair. So we will see. Let's do the stare down. I see some differences is now, but well, they did a pretty good job with this one. Like I say, on foot, no one's going to tell. Absolutely no one's going to tell. But is there a hang tag here? Okay, there we go. I was, a, I was a bit concerned here. So, all right. Remember, you guys, this is a blind review, man. You guys are seeing these things for the first time. 
just as I. Okay, so, and I'm sure this will vary, but you can already tell um, that midsole, I mean the outsole, outsole is a lot larger and bulkier than the retail pair. You see that retail pair has a, has a different shape to it, right? I don't even know if that's going to be the same as the, um, the right shoe. That could be a flaw. Um, as always, the stars are more pronounced and smaller. Different shade of gray, as you can see. And you can see that midsole is smaller. Toe, a bit sleeker, but they did well. They did well with this toe. I'm not going to take anything away from that toe. They did a real good job because that first version, that, that toe was a whole lot bulkier. Go ahead and take a look at the back. And I'm sure there'll be varying versions. I'm sure they're going to have like a China release and all that stuff. There's going to be a lot of drama involved. Okay, I'm looking at um, behind the tongue. Definitely a different shade of blue here. You see a lighter blue here. Look more like a diffused blue. And you can see here it's like a darker shade of blue here. On the retail shoe, this is retail. So we're looking at the Nike Air. Uh, yeah, that blue is a slightly off by hair. You can see it. Yeah. It's a more vibrant type blue. Um, of course, the all important air units. And this one has one, two, three columns. The fake has the three columns. And of course, the retail has the three columns. One, two, three. But you can see these clear on this one right here on the end. You see how where that one is? You can see it clearly. It looks like on this one, it's like almost hiding, like on the back. But it's there. It's definitely there. It's almost like a piece of rubber. Should They should have cut it out a little bit more. But it is there. Yeah, the caging's always a bit harder. Let's see how this one feels. Yes, that's the softer caging. Has a little bit more give. You can see this one's a little bit off here on the retail pair. Take a look at the waffle, waffle eyelets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six, nine. All right. Let's take a look at the front. This is the fake. This is the retail. Please, people don't get confused. All right. This one has a small peak. Uh, definitely, definitely different shades of uh i don't know if this is a light grayish color uh different shade you see the stitching lines are different stitching lines are different material under the tongue under this caging is different and the laces are different you see the lace pattern look at the lace pattern Tongue height. Ah. I mean, I guess that looks fine. We can take a look at the stitching on the flight. Take a little closer look. Yeah. Slight difference. No one can really tell that, especially on camera. But I could definitely see that with the naked eye. Sorry about that. We'll take a look. Under the shoe, before that, before we look under the shoe, we we'll take a look at the medial side. So I'm going to pull out the, uh, you can see that much better here. The three columns on the medial side. See that there? That's real good. Yeah, see, here goes my other shoe. It doesn't have that bulk on the midsole, I mean on the outsole. Yeah, that's a little funky. All right, so retail's up top. Fake is at the bottom. Take a look under the shoe. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And there's the medial side again. And then we'll take a look at the back. Let's see if these are both even. Let's bring out all four of them. Let's bring out all four.
They're all pretty solid. You see that Nike Air is a little too far. Well, this one, yeah. So they're both like that. Way closer to the edge. And then this one isn't. So they're both made pretty well. But you can see um, the differences on them. It's pretty good. Um, let's take a look at the inside. Before we do that, let's take a look at the hang tag. Make sure it's on the right side. And Nike. All right. You see that hang tag there? Retails up top. Look how vibrant that orange is. You can just tell the difference. I don't even need to explain that. You can see it. It's not the light. It's not anything. You can see the differences between the two hang tags. Eleven minutes in. Let me pull out this paper here. Let's see. It feels like it's a dream cell insole. Dream cell insole. All right. So much videos to do as well. It's crazy. All right. All right. Here we go here. Well, that's two completely different insoles. Isn't that, isn't that weird, huh? Two absolutely different insoles. So here's a darker blue. Retails up top. Figures at the bottom. You see it. You see it. You see it. Let's see if I got good light, you guys can see inside. All right. While I'm at it, let me take a look at this date that is here. Uh, LN4 factory. Uh, they made these suckers in 2023. 8-23-23, 11-10-23. Oops, sorry about that. I don't know if you guys can get that there. You guys can pause it and zoom in. Look at the strobe bell stitching. All right, let's get that back in. So let's get this back in. Let's look at this here. Oh, wow. This one has a stamp on the footbed. The strobe bell stitching is very different. This one's in the angle. Ah, uh, let's see if I can get that in there. See that angle stitching? Crap. Come on, light. So US SZ factory, the infamous SZ factory. And they got the date of... 10, 4, 23, 11, 10, 23. Now, guys, if you guys were impatient and decide to get your shoe off of Stock X, you might get an international version that might be similar to this. Don't think your shoe is fake. You're just getting the, this is the shoe uh, that the, the counterfeiters decided to replicate is because this, this is the one they were able to get. The of course the overseas pair so don't go crazy you guys should wait you see consignment stores they're still selling this shoe for like 345 350 it's absolutely ridiculous i mean i take my chances on release day that's what i would do all right so um let's weigh these bad boys and then we'll black light these suckers and this video is over all right Get the trusty scale out. I put the paper back in so it is what it is. All right, 
so we oh what's going on here what is going on here we got a power problem yeah all right we're good we're good we zeroed in left shoe oh come on Don't use this stuff. Everything starts glitch, glitching. All right. Left shoe with hang tag and paper in it. One pound, 8.1 ounces. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, this feels a bit heavy. I could be wrong. One pound, 8.2 ounces. I'm definitely wrong. Let's take a look here. One pound, 8.4 ounces. This feels lighter. One pound, 7.5 ounces. All right. I don't know what's going on with this thing. My AC adapter's acting up. Might need a new scale. All right, let's turn the lights off. Black light time. Boom. Yeah, I'm doing this video right before I go to work. And I need to get ready. So, boom, here we go. Here we go. Retail pair. All right, we got some stuff here. Stuff in this corner. We got, once again, it's okay. We got the bottom glowing a little bit. All right. Let's take a look at you. Let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing. See the white, the Nike, the Nike air isn't glowing on the fake. You can see it more pronounced under the light on the retail pair, not on the fake. And that's about it. Seems like, okay, the winglets here is glowing, that material. And also here is glowing on the light. If I put it on there, I can see it real well. But let me bring my uh, retail pair over. And I can put it here, and it's not, it's not being affected by the light. There's no reflection. I'm shocked that the laces don't glow. And then, so we got all of that glowing. And you see the stitching in the front? Glowing on the fakes and not on the retail pair. Use all those things you guys got to cover when you black light. And you got to take a real good look at these things. So, at the end of the day, that's it. That's not, it's not too bad. Not too bad. You did a pretty good shoe. You did a pretty good shoe. So with this one, it's the fine details in the black light. So all in all, a pretty good shoe. So we got two different uh, factories. Like I said, it's 1.7 million pairs made. I don't know if that's just for the U.S. or that's worldwide. I don't know. So it could be 600K made made for the you know the overseas non-state side and then 600k for the united states who knows but it might be a lot of drama involved it might not be because nobody cares since it's not an exclusive shoe and all the hype beasts aren't gonna hype the shoe up but it is what it is like comment share subscribe it's your boy jake signing out appreciate you guys peace